It's Madden NFL 24 on EA Sports. And if it's in the game, it's in the game. It's the New York Jets and the Dallas Cowboys. And it comes your way next. We are sandwiched between Fort Worth and Dallas, Texas in Arlington at the luxurious AT&T Stadium. Coming up, we got a good matchup on tap here as it'll be the New York Jets taking on the Dallas Cowboys. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and Charles, here in Dallas, winning isn't everything, it's the only thing. But this team this year may have even extra pressure on their shoulders in what might very well be the toughest division in football. And that extra pressure will go on the offensive side of the ball. They'll need consistent play from the quarterback position because they are very explosive. And on the defensive side, they want to continue to take the ball away and make themselves contenders in the NFC East. Now, meanwhile, for the Jets, you know, even putting the quarterback situation aside, this is an exciting time for them right now. Yeah, they were just 7-10 last year. I get that. But they're building a roster that's potentially got some future stars involved. They certainly are. Remember, going 7-10, and 10, they were 7-3 and three at one point last season. And they finished the year with the offensive and defensive rookies of the year. So you know that this roster is really on the rise. Here's the punter, Thomas Morstead, to get this one started. And we are underway from AT&T Stadium. And they'll have very good starting field position as he's up just shy of the 40. So the Cowboys ready to go on offense for the first time, and it is their now 30-year-old quarterback, Dak Prescott, who leads the way. Prescott has some things to clean up from last season, leading the NFL with 15 interceptions and only 12 games played. But we can't overlook the good. 23 touchdowns and an 8-4 record as a starter as he led the Cowboys to consecutive postseasons for the first time since 2007. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. If these kinds of lanes are available, you have to feel like he's going to have a pretty big game on the ground. Yeah, you can tell early on he's got a little burst in his step, and that's a big pickup right there on first down. And they'll employ the jumbo set now on second and one. Going to run again here with Pollard. And he'll get it into enemy territory just across midfield at the 49. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. Well, that was a unit that understood exactly where the first down marker was, handed it to their guy who could run it, created some space, and he got there. A first down throw for Prescott. It's hauled in by Brandon Cooks. And he gets this inside the 45-yard line. It's a gain of 16 in the Dallas first down. Prescott now, option right, and just no chance of turning the corner. He can only get back to the line of scrimmage. Second and ten coming up. Well, for that being an option play, there really weren't too many options available for him, were there? No, there weren't, and at least he was able to get back to the line of scrimmage, so they didn't lose anything, but you're exactly right. Nowhere to go. A second down throw for Prescott. That's dumped off to Pollard. They'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. And they're getting him involved early. You feel like they saw something on tape, or they just have a sense with him because he's had a good week of practice or something in that area, that they want him involved, just as you said. They want him to touch it either in the running game or the passing game, but they must like the matchups they're getting. On third down, it's Prescott. Here's a screen now for Pollard. And his bid for the first down coming up short as he's tackled at the 25. Five yards on the screen, but that'll take us to fourth down. Boy, that one was well read defensively. And this is all about diagnosis as a safety and being decisive because he saw it setting up in front of him, able to knife through there and make the play. They'll run forward with Pollard. 
And he will have a first down at about the 21-yard line. Well, that's what's called being aggressive right there. But I don't know that it's reckless. I think it's much more of a message, hey, defense, I believe in you in case we don't get it. And offense, trying to let him know he believes in him as well. I like it. Your first drive of the game in plus territory, be aggressive. First down, Prescott. A quick throw there is incomplete. They had their backs up against the wall a little bit, and they come through by forcing an incompletion. Now they've got to continue to ratchet up the intensity a couple more times and get off the field before giving up any more yardage. Second and 10. Now Prescott. He's got his man. So obviously they will decline the penalty there, and the result is six points. Extra point splits the uprights, and that makes the score seven nothing. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. Take it at about the one. And makes it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. So here come the Jets for their initial possession of the game. They're led out by a former number two overall pick in the draft from BYU at Zach Wilson. And we all know the scouting report on him. He can attack the field at all levels with a very strong arm and make big time plays off schedule. We also see a player with confidence and swagger. We see a guy who knows how to lead a team, who knows how to compete and wants to be great every time he hits the field. Throwing there, but this pass is gonna wind up incomplete. No coverage bust by the defense here. They did a nice job accounting for everybody, and that led to an incompletion. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. Now it's Wilson. Eluding the pressure right. Wilson smart to take off and run with it as he's able to pick up the first. I can't be sure how much of that was planned pre-snap, but it certainly opens up some avenues for their offense. And if he can stay a threat to break off those kind of runs, it'll pull defenders away from coverage and open up some choice throwing lanes for him moving forward. Now the first carry for Dalvin Cook. Able to slither by. That's a pretty strong running there as he'll take this across the 50 and down to the 44. Another strong gain on the last two plays. They've moved it a combined 33 yards. How many times do we say in this game is speed kills and it does it in so many different ways. In this case, you got a back who's quick and shifty. Can make moves, make people miss, but also gets to and through a hole before it can close down. They're going for Lazard, but this is intercepted. Picked off by Stephon Gilmore. And the Cowboys are going to have it here at their own 32-yard line. You've got to know as a quarterback that's going to be tough to outthink this guy in the defensive backfield. He's been at it 11 years now, so he knows all the ins and outs of the position, and he's in the right spot there to come up with the interception. Second drive forthcoming here for the Dallas Cowboys. This could end up being a pretty big drive. I mean, look, yes, it's early in this game, but they scored the touchdown, they got the stop, and now if they could get in the end zone here again, CD, they could grab an early stranglehold on this one. Yeah, they certainly can, and that's what you're looking for. Where's the advantage? Can you gain it? Can you press it? Now for them, finishing it off, because right now it's out there for them. They've just got to go seize it. 
Interior of that line blocked really well on that run, but also the two tight ends, they blocked well too. Not only have they stouted the line of scrimmage, with their agility, they can get upfield and hit moving targets like linebackers, defensive backs. They do a really good job helping out the running game. The short one there taken in by Ferguson. So the completion gets him just a yard, and that'll make it second down. As a defense, you're more balanced when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. They're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line of scrimmage. Here's Prescott. Going right back to Ferguson. Call it a gain of six on the play. Sets up third and two. It's not cool about the game there on second down. That was a positive play because that was a take what you can get situation. Got out to the tight end. Now it gives a much better opportunity to convert on third down. So third and two. This quite possibly four down territory though if they're stopped. Now Prescott. Well, they would have gotten the conversion if he could hold on. Instead, the drop means it'll be fourth down. Cowboys going to bring on Brian Anger to punt on fourth down. And this will carry out of bounds. Where are they going to spot it now? At about the 18-yard line, it looks like. Back onto the field come the New York Jets for their second drive. But not an ideal way to end their previous drive. They threw the interception, Charles, after they had built up some momentum. They were moving the football, but something to at least build on for this offense as they run back out here. Yeah, you're right about that. Up until that last play, everything was working pretty well for this offense, gaining chunks of yardage, getting first downs, really making a push for the end zone and looked like they had a nice rhythm going. Now you got to have a short memory here. Don't focus on the interception. Focus on what came before it and get back to it. They're unable to connect, but a late flag comes in. And the contact may have come too early. So the yellow flag came out, and that leads to a new set of downs for this offense, first and 10. Now Wilson. That's caught left side by Hardman. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. It'll go as a gain of 11 and a Jets first down. They go play action with Wilson. Throwing left sideline there, but it's incomplete. And now we're going to get a stoppage. A member of the Cowboys shaken up. Well, hopefully, obviously, nothing serious here. Medical staff, though, going to take a peek, and we'll take a break. Ball on the 42 as they come up second and 10. They'll try the wide side with Cook. And he's got this one across midfield in the Cowboy territory. That'll leave them with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. I know the toss play begins with the guy taking the snap and turn around and tossing it to the runner. But where the real intrigue is, can they seal the edge, whether it's an offensive tackle or a tight end in the direction they want to run the football? If they do that, that's the result that you get, that type of a gain. If they don't... Oh, and his early struggles continue. Here's another one intercepted. Picked off by Trayvon Diggs. And the Cowboys are going to get the football back at their own 17. No, to me, it's pretty simple, and it's fairly obvious, isn't it? He's got to start making better decisions with the ball. That's now two interceptions in the first quarter. After interception number one, there was a long talk on the sideline, and now he's made another mistake. Yeah, he's just been kind of laying these passes out there. He's kind of been floating them a little bit. He's got to be more decisive in his reads and definitely more decisive in throwing the ball. Rifle it in there every now and then. 
Now he's going to swing this one out to his running back. And he'll be a couple yards shy of the 20 at the 18. Call it a gain of a yard, and it'll be second down. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers' tight ends because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. Here's a pass swung out left to his running back. And he's able to break out a one tackle, but then quickly brought down. It's funny, throughout the time that we've been together when we talk with running backs about the ability to catch the ball, their eyes light up when they talk about open field and having one-on-one -on -one matchups, don't they? Yeah, they do. And that's the reason why. What we just saw, shedding those tackles, and that's what they're used to doing. It is, and it starts at the beginning of the play. One-on-one -on -one matchup with someone trying to cover them, but they also like those one-on-ones downfield after the catch when they're running with the ball. They think they're going to win those, too. I'll tell you what, these last couple of drives, much better from a defensive perspective. They gave up a touchdown on the opening drive, and then after forcing a punt on their last possession, it looks like they're getting the football back again. On fourth down, here's Brian Anger now to kick this one away. And take it right on the 30. 45 yards, that's what the punt goes for. Five on the return, and the Jets will take over. Zach Wilson and the Jets offense about ready to take over once again. And he's been loose with the football early. Interceptions on the first couple of drives as they start again here. We'll see if he can do better first and 10. And out across midfield down to the 45. Great way to start the drive. 20 big ones in a first down. Exactly what they needed right there because they needed to use the ground game to take some pressure off because the quarterback's been struggling a little bit. On first down, Wilson. Oh, this one incomplete. The pressure got to him as he released it. And it's second down. No receivers open downfield, so instead of forcing the ball to the sideline, he's going to throw this one down to Fort Worth. He'd rather have the incompletion than the turnover. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. Here's Wilson. Able to complete this one to Tyler Conklin. And he's going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at the Cowboys 19. A good pick up there, 26 yards. Well, there's no disputing. He's made some poor throws in this first half, but this was a good one. And you can bet this is an offense that isn't going to pull back. They believe in what he can do. So all you can do is look forward, and they pick up a first down. Flushed out right. Able to make something out of nothing there. 17 yards and a first down. Didn't learn his lesson the first time, but looks like a second early interception got through to it. Now he understands. Don't force a throw if it's not there. Oftentimes, running is the better play anyway. Case in point. And he's going to take it in for a Jets touchdown. Nick Bonin punching it in from a yard away. And the Jets are an extra point away from evening this one up. And boy, that was a heavy set. I think they had three tight ends out there. The fullback, they just, you knew what they were going to do. Yeah, they weren't trying to fool anybody at all, were they? There was none of this show you heavy set, bootleg it out. No, no, no. Big guys up front, hand it to the big guy in the backfield. Zerline connects on the extra point, and we are tied at seven. So all even at seven now as they kick it away. And he'll be stopped up at the 25. Dallas offense set for this next drive. A last series for him, a little disappointing, forced to punt. 
And now they'll try to do better here and come away with some points as they begin this drive. First and 10. They'll be taken down. The Jets get in there for the sack. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. You know, on these types of plays, we're always looking to assess blame. Okay, where did it break down? Sometimes it's just a great play. After the sack, it's second and 19, and the road gets a bit tougher from here. Throwing, Prescott. They'll drop this underneath to Pollard, and he's going to be brought down on what will be the final play of this first quarter. These two teams all tied after one. Start of the second quarter, and it's the Cowboys in possession. And this offense on third down today, 0 for 3 to this point. They could use a conversion. This is third down and 12. Prescott to throw it. That is caught. He's across midfield. And finally taken down at the 34. A big play here for Dallas. 43 yards. And the offense is saying to itself right now, if only they were all this easy because he was wide open. And once he made the catch, plenty of room to work his way downfield. That was a breakdown on the defensive side of the ball, one that they want to fix immediately. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10 just outside the 30. Prescott. That's caught once again by Gallup. A pickup of about three yards as he's taken down at the 31. A second and seven with our score tied at seven, but they're planning to change that soon. Only question, will they get three or six out of it? They'll throw again, Prescott. And that falls to the ground incomplete. A nice job of bodying him up defensively, and now it brings up third down. I'll tell you, as a defender, you've got to make life as difficult as possible when you're trying to cover a big tight end, because you know his catch radius is huge. He's unable to pull that one in, though. Prescott now. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And that's going to be another first down as the tackle made at the Jets' 13-yard line. Give him 18 on the play. And that's well executed there on third down. And I love the confidence that they had to let their tight end try and find some space in the middle of the field right in their quarterback's line of vision. And QBs love to make that easy throw. And they hooked up there for a first down. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. That's a tough spot for a running back come out of the backfield because you know he's got to look for the football. Knowing full well, he's got a man coming his way full steam, and he broke that one up. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. To the air again, Prescott. And this throw incomplete. And the defender all over time and it's going to lead to third down that's a pretty play there got in at the last second helped force the ball free and kept them out of the end zone well this drive they're a perfect two of two on third down conversions but they need a full 10 yards here looking to throw Prescott on the out route it's Lamb with a grab and he's got this inside the 10 to the 9 before he's out of bounds. Short completion, just four yards. And that's going to bring up a fourth down. So now on fourth down, Mike McCarthy will turn to his field goal unit. From the left hash, should be a fairly easy one here. And this one is right through. And they take the lead here now at 10 to 7. So in the end, they had the ball for 10 plays, but the drive gets them three, not six. Is it okay if I give credit to both sides on this one? Absolutely. All right, let's start defensively. They hung in there. Ten-play drive, but they stiffened when they got close to the goal line, made them kick a field goal for the offense. Ten-play drive. They might be a little disappointed they got a field goal, but they moved the ball down the field with dispatch and came away with points. The kick team out there for the Cowboys as they run up to send this one away. And this taken in at the goal line. 
And he will make it to the 20-yard line and no further. Here's the Jet offense now. They head out to take over. Wilson leading the Jets up now for a first and 10 at the 20. He'll start by handing it off to Dalvin Cook. And they're going to stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Just no cutback lane to be found whatsoever. Second and 10. So nothing there that time. And maybe you need to look to the O-line. They weren't able to create any space. No, they weren't. And you know as well as I do, as many offensive line coaches we've ever met, I think that'll be addressed loudly when those guys get to the sideline. And they're usually loud and big. <laughs> to the 30-yard line. 10 yards is the pickup. Good enough for a Jet first down. That was good, tough running right up the middle. And if the defense can't penetrate and make him slow his pace or change direction, that's often the end result. Following the good run by Cook, here's another first and 10. Wilson. And this one is going to be off the mark, too far out in front. He shook his head right when he released that throw. He knew it was going to be a little off target. Yeah, the excitement got him on that one. Wasn't able to control the fact the receiver was open, and it would have been an easy throw. Ball on the 30 as they come up second and 10. Out of the gun, here's Wilson. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Wilson. And getting this just shy of midfield, they'll spot it at the 49. 19 yards there on the catch and run. Two first downs have them up near midfield now on first and 10. They'll try the middle with Cook. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Brings up second and seven at the 48-yard line. From the 48-yard line, here's second down and seven. They run it again with Cook. So that's about as fortuitous of a bounce as you're going to find as it's scooped up and taken in for the touchdown. And I love how you use the word fortuitous there because as that popped up, he just happened to be in the right place, grabbed it, and found his way into the end zone. Now Zerline on and the extra point. And that makes it 14-10. That drive goes 80 yards in six plays. And the last play, a really nice run that culminated in the touchdown. Morstead out now following the touchdown to kick. Cavante Turpin now from his end zone. And he's able to get this across the 20, but not by much as he's marked out officially at the 21. But now here come the Cowboys. Their drive last time, it stalled out. They were forced to take the short field goal. And the key phrase, you nailed it. Forced to, because you know coaches look at these short field goals as a last resort, right? To them, that's not how drives are supposed to end. You're supposed to put six on the board. That's a consolation prize. Like going to the county fair, you don't get the big stuffed animal on that one, do you? No, you don't go top shelf. That's bottom shelf material. So the completion good for seven there, and it'll be second down. They toss it down to Pollard. A short gain here, maybe a yard to the 29. 
That's a really good job right there. Just kept stringing that play out, pushing further and further towards the sideline. Really good fundamentals by that defense. He was trying to put his foot in the ground and turn up field. He just couldn't. No, they really had a picket fence in front of him. No room to find to get upfield. Trying to run for it with Pollard. And he gets it to the 32. Good enough for a first down. I don't know about you, but that almost felt like old-time football there. Third and two is not necessarily just a running down anymore. A lot of times they want to throw the ball. They went back to the roots and powered forward and got the first down. They show run with three tight ends here on first down. Here's Pollard again. And he'll work this one up to about the 38. 44 yards on the ground for him so far. Not a ton of room available on that one, but he made use of what space was available and gained decent yardage. Second down and four. A give to Pollard, running left. And they bring him to the ground just shy of midfield. 11 yards and a Cowboy first down. A great run by Pollard and runs like that have had us anticipating a breakout season from him for years. And it finally arrived in 2022. Dallas gave him more run and he had his first 1,000 yard season despite receiving less than 200 touches. They'll go with Pollard here on first down and he'll take it across midfield down into Jet territory. Three yards on the pickup there and it'll be second down. They run straight ahead here with Pollard. They're still about three yards shy of a first as the four-yard pickup brings it to third down. To throw is Prescott. He's got his target. That's complete. And that's going to be another first down as the tackle made at the Jets' 19. A good pick up there, 26 yards. He's such a good route runner. Shows it there on third down. Very proficient and a good pass. And you know what I've observed over the years in the NFL? The better a route runner you are, the more confidence your guy's going to have in you to go to you in important times because he can trust you being in the right spot and they connected there and picked up a first down. From the red zone now, Prescott. And he slides and covers up at the end as he's going to be able to pick up decent yardage. Nice work to get seven out of that, and it's second down. From the shotgun, it's Prescott. Swinging this out for Pollard. And now they're inside the 10 as he's brought down at the 9. And just three yards on the catch there. He couldn't get away. And that'll bring up what looks to be a third in inches. Can't be more than a half a foot. Pollard will take it up the gut. And he has the first down before he's tackled at the five. Five yards is the pick up there as that extends his drive. I hope we give enough respect to the big guys up front because they have been getting it done on this drive. The holes have been large, and they've been barreling through them, picking up first downs. They'll run with Pollard. And he is into the end zone for the count. Tony Pollard, a five-yard touchdown run. And the Cowboys are once again back in front. A solid blocking up front from the guys on the offensive line allowed him to get in for the touchdown. Yeah, some might say that the guys on the offensive line were in concert. I used to have a coach who called it marrying up 
meaning when you get on a guy, you just stay right there. And each guy has his own assignment that allowed the runner to make the big move towards the end zone. Extra point right down the middle, and it's now 17-14. The kick team out there for the Cowboys as they run up to send this one away. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. Back on offense, New York gets set to take over. As this offense comes back out here, Charles, they're trailing in this ball game, And they've been on the sideline for a while. They did score their last time out, but they just had to watch that long, sustained drive. So we'll see if they can shake the rust off. Yeah, and that's always a, a question that you have when you have to come off the bench after having sat there for a long time. Are you ready to go? Are you loosened up? But even more so, are you mentally alert and ready to put your best product out there? Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. Here's a second and three now from the 33. Throwing is Wilson. A short throw to Conklin, the tight end. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. And it's a rush to the line right now for the Jets. They'll throw on first down with Wilson. He's got to hook up to Lazard. Now you've got to hustle your guys to the line and get them set. Now Wilson. there he's hitting on fewer than half his pass attempts in this one and that is not a winning formula yeah so let's make sure we give a little bit of credit to the defense here they're giving him a lot to think about a lot of different looks and he seems a little bit confused trying to complete passes throwing again here wilson able to find the open man that's complete touchdown chance Garrett Wilson, he scored on the ground and through the air. And the Jets will take the lead here in the final minute of the first half. Pretty good response. They had given up the touchdown and the lead, but they struck back. And I love the way that they just saw it happen. Took a quick exhale on the sidelines. So let's go get it back and fast. Let's go ahead and throw the ball downfield and get our own six points. A huge chunk play to regain that lead. Zerline good with a PAT. And that will make this a four-point game. Morstead out now following the touchdown to kick. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. Offense back out there, and we shine the spotlight on the Memphis man, Tony Pollard. You see the numbers, all those carries. If you get that many carries in the drive, you better finish it with a touchdown, and, and he did. Yeah, and, and deservedly so, right? Because we've seen times like the Carolina Panthers, sometimes Jonathan Stewart to carry the ball the way down, and then Cam, he's such a great goal line runner, he'll carry it in. But in this case, though, that didn't happen. The fellow lugging the load, he's the one who got to reap the reward. Yeah, there was no touchdown vulture here.
A big play to start him out. Has him at the 45 already. Now Prescott. Another one to C.D. Lamb. He's got it. So the completion good for six yards. And that will bring up second down. And there'll be a break in the action here because Prescott is going to use the timeout as the clock will stop with just under 30 seconds to go in the first half. Here now, second and four. Prescott from the gun. And his throw here is incomplete. Tight end has become a bigger and bigger part of the passing game in the NFL, but if you drop the football, that position can get swapped out with a you know, wide receiver in that spot, a running back in that spot. There are other ways they can go if you're not going to catch the ball. And that's not just his first drop, his second drop of the game. And again, it's Prescott. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And that's going to be another first down as the tackle made at the Jets' 39. It's a 10-yard pickup, and it moves the chains. Now a timeout. Seven seconds left in the first half. So even though it's first down, here's the field goal unit on now to try to get three before halftime. This will be from 56 yards out. And that is no good. And that will keep this a four-point game. And anytime you see a kicker trot out to try one from 56 yards, you know everything's got to come off perfectly for it to have a chance. If the laces aren't quite right, if he doesn't hit the fat part of the ball just right, it's unlikely to go through. And that one winds up no good. And intercepted. Wilson's third of the game. Picked off by Stephon Gilmore. And the Cowboys are going to get the football back as time will run out in this third quarter of play. All right, Brandon, back to you two in just a bit. But first, welcome everyone to downtown Orlando in our EA Sports Halftime Report. Both of these offenses had their share of high points in that first half. Each team had some big moments, and it would seem this could turn out to be a game where the last score wins. Okay, Coach, thanks as always. This one's still anyone's game as we welcome you back for quarter number three. It's been a shootout so far. We'll see which defense can make the adjustments as we get back underway in the second half. This fielded right at the goal line. And able to get this across the 20, but not much further as he's dropped it to 23-yard line. All eyes on Zach Wilson leading his team back out for this next drive. And it was somewhat of a strange first half. He threw three interceptions, yet you look at the scoreboard, they've got the lead. So you know what I think he did at the half? He stood up in front of the team, especially in front of the defense, and said, thank you. Appreciate what you've done. You guys have picked me up in a big way. And guess what? I'm going to get back to being who I am, which is pretty darn good. Let's go play the second half. Two yards the gain on the keeper, and it's second down.
Now it's Wilson. Open man here is Conklin. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. 14 yards is the pickup there at a jet first down. Here's Wilson to throw. Looking middle, and that's complete. They'll wind up getting seven on the play, and it's second down. Now that's staying ahead of the chains. Really good pickup on first down, hitting the tight end there. Now it brings up a second and manageable. Just found a hole in that zone. From the 46, here's second and three. They go play action with Wilson. He will go down. A Cowboys sack. They'll wind up losing 10 on the sack, and it'll lead to a third and long. Okay, I'm not sure you could actually draw a better pass rush than that one right there. Nowhere to go outside. He had to keep backing up and backing up and backing up. Eventually dropped for a huge loss. So now Wilson and the Jets with a third and long here following the sack. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Setting up the screen for Cook. And he'll be stopped right at midfield. Needed 13, they got 14 on third down. Whenever we talk about moving the sticks and controlling the football, there's a great example right there. Those are the third downs you need to convert to win football games. We're in the third quarter of this one, and this is a tight one. In order to maintain pace, keep the ball away from the other team and put points on the board, those are the plays they need to continue to convert. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. 86 yards rushing now for Cook, and this is a first down. Well, partner, I have to say they caught him in the right defense there. Nickel set, fifth defensive back on the field, and they love to run against that because now you typically get a bigger blocker on a smaller defender. Yeah, because those DBs like you, they want the interception. They're not as worried about the running play, right? Not at all. <laughs> I, I, used to, I, I still remember being in school and one of my offensive line teammates used to say, boy, I'd love to come downfield and hit you little people. <laughs> Good run there. Well, if you're going to turn things around in a game like this, Charles, those are the kind of plays that you need. And I just love the way that defense rallied to the football on that one. They got the completion, but he was smothered behind the line of scrimmage. And when you make tackles like that, your whole defense is going to be fired up. Really nice play getting to the ball. And he's able to get it to the edge of the red zone at the 20-yard line. Boy, where would these guys be without his performance on the ground? That puts him over 100 yards now for the afternoon, and I tell you, he seems to be getting stronger as the day goes along. Ninth play coming up here on this drive. This is third and a yard. Now it's Wilson. That is caught and brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. Just his second catch of the game so far. This one moves the chains. And I'll tell you what, this offense is playing a little bit of keep away right now. They've come out here in the third quarter, possessed the ball for quite a while, and they keep on converting. Nice pitch and catch there to set up the first and goal. Now Wilson. Locates Hardman for another catch. Three yards is the game that time. Second and goal. Here's Wilson. Throws it on the move, but can't connect as that falls incomplete. And a smart play there. He's probably saying, I wish I would have done that on the last drive instead of throwing the interception. Well, they've been so good on third down all day long. Can they convert another here on third and goal? 
Again, Wilson. Toward the pylon, but it's incomplete. So it's been a long drive. They've held the ball for quite a while. Now what do you do here? Well, to me, at this stage, after this drive, this close to the goal line, three points would be a letdown. I'm going for it here. So Wilson runs off, and now they will go to the man they call Greg the Leg, Greg Zerline. From the right hash here, should be an easy one. Zerline's kick is up and through, and they will open their lead up to a touchdown at 24-17. Well, looking at it from a defensive perspective, that keeps the deficit very, very manageable. You know, all things considered, not a bad job on the defensive side. I would say that you've pointed out something pretty good right there, and that is you actually have both sides happy with that exchange. You know, happy in quotes, of course. One team, hey, we've kept, kept it within range. The other side saying, hey, we put points on the board and did stretch out the lead. Let's see how this one turns out. Yeah, still bottom line, though. Three points for the opening drive of the third quarter. Morstead, the punter, out to kick it off. And he brings us out past the 20 to the 24. The Cowboys offense now, they head out for their first possession of the second half. And their deficit a little wider now than it was at halftime following the field goal a moment ago. But the goal is still the same because you know they want to come out, establish a rhythm in the second half and get going. Make no mistake about it though, kicking field goals, not in their game plan. They need to get the ball in the end zone. 81 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. And that's the kind of run that gets everyone excited on offense. And you know, oftentimes the guys who carry the ball are the ones in the huddle doing the chirping. Right now, I think it's the offensive line telling them, run it again. We are right there about to break a big one. Here's Prescott. Incomplete. At this point in the second half, one mistake on a forced throw could doom your chances of a comeback. So that's the right call there to just throw that one away. They tried to throw on second down, unsuccessful. Now it's third and one. Now Prescott. Looking for Cooks, and it's intercepted. And he brings it back to right around the 26-yard line. Boy, he had to fit that into a pretty tight window over the middle. And, Charles, I think they were in zone defensively, weren't they? They certainly were. Nice read on your part. And sometimes the quarterback isn't fooled between zone and man. Sometimes just fooled by the type of zone that he sees. Because oftentimes those linebackers will vacate and run downfield with receivers. In this case, he played a pure zone and was in the wrong spot for the QB. The New York set to take the field. And last time they got three points, but it was a chip shot field goal. And when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal, maybe the offense not too happy. It's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. They're none two plays, and they didn't punch it in for six points. But they also have to remember, they did put points on yeah, the board. Three points and, is three points. And in this league, <laughs> you take points when you can get them. Not easily done. Options galore here, second and a few inches. Again, it's Cook. Oh, nice move. And he'll get it here to the 10-yard line. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. Well, you know they had a third down play on standby just in case, but he says no need with that carry. Runs like that will continually earn him more work in this and future contests. So not quite a first and goal. It's first and 10 from the 10. Getting the ball is Cook running left. The nice footwork gets him just inside the 10 to the 9, but no further. Only a yard on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Ladies and gentlemen, that is a force of nature at the defensive tackle position. Yes, he's as big as they come, but still plenty agile. He's able to make a nice play there to swallow up the ball carrier. Now they'll throw it with Wilson. And this will be caught in the end zone. Touchdown, Jets. Alan Lazard, a nine-yard touchdown grab. And the Jets go up by two touchdowns.
Well, on that connection, it looked like they maybe had some pre-play communication. Maybe one of them noticed an area that was open to the defense to get the pass to. When you put the time in, sometimes you have that great silent communication that you just noticed right there because the best quarterback receiver combos in the NFL, they know how to make those adjustments at the line of scrimmage when they see something pre-play, and they got it done there. Morstead out now following the touchdown to kick. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. And now Dallas gets set to take the field. And we'll see if they can bounce back from that last drive in particular, if they can bounce back at the quarterback position, Charles, after throwing their first interception of the ball game. Yeah, and some guys, you know they're going to want to try and get a big play right away and take control back. Others, they're going to want to look to hit a couple shorter passes and get a little momentum back that way. But for the defense, that goal's not changing a bit. They want another pick. You're exactly right about that. In fact, you've got to watch them a little bit because in coverage, they may cut down their gaps a little bit, maybe their splits a little bit in order to try and get to the ball even faster. So after the incompletion, second and 10 from the 22. Prescott to throw it. Over the middle complete, it's Ferguson. And he gets this one just shy of the 40, down at the 39. Fifth catch of the afternoon, and that gives him a first down. Shotgun handoff to Pollard. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. And there we saw one of the downsides of blitzing during a rundown because sometimes you get out of your gaps. You don't fit the run quite as well because you're headed towards the ball carrier with abandon. Two yards to go, second down. Off the play fake, Prescott. And he knocks the ball away, and it falls incomplete. When you see passes knocked down by those guys I call the frustrated fullbacks, the linebackers, you know that in their zone coverage, they were able to drop, see the ball thrown, and react to it very quickly. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Now a give here to Pollard. And he's got the first down yardage as he takes it down to the 49. A third down gain of three yards, and that'll be enough. Well, someone's been having a good game so far, and you know something? A lot has been power running. They decided to turn him loose again on third down, didn't they? They did indeed. He delivered the tough yards. So in jet territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 49-yard line. It'll be a handoff to Pollard. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. When the 4-3 defense is functioning really well, you know who stays what we call clean and no one gets to him? The guy playing the middle linebacker position, the guy we call Mike. That means the defensive front is eating up all the blocks and just let him go to the football and make a play. Running right, it's Pollard. And great blocking downfield as he's got this almost to the 35-yard line. 105 yards on the ground here for Pollard. This is a first down. Blocking at the point of attack there was very strong. He had a couple of running lanes. And I never want to overlook the offensive line, but that's what they get paid to do. How about the quarterback? Everyone thinks all he's going to do is throw the football. His movement and deception can help a running game as well. And he'll work his way inside the 30 now to the 28. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves him with a second and three. Talk about controlling the football and controlling a drive. And with runs like that, they'll continue to do exactly that. 
second down and three. They'll try to throw now. Prescott, a short one there, taken in by Ferguson. And that'll be enough to keep the drive moving forward. Another first down on the pickup of five yards. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. Prescott looks to throw on first. Left side to lay him. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And that'll leave him with a second and just a few inches left. another play as time has run out on this third quarter you're watching the NFL on EA Sports a good position to be in here second and inches out of the gun here's Prescott swinging this out for Pollard and here he'll get it down to the seven the six yards on the pickup, and it leaves him with a first and goal. I think the best offenses love to get the ball to their running backs in open space because they have the ability to make people miss, and they also have the ability to run over people. And if you do that throughout the game, after a while, they might just run through some of those tackles and go a long way. Well, we saw him shed a nice tackle on that play. Prescott, uh, he's got it. That's good for a gain of six, second and goal. Fired that one in there, able to make connection on a nice in route. With those faster passes when they're going that fast, any hesitation as a quarterback that the deflection, if you miss, might be bigger and lead to an interception? Yeah, and the deflection works both ways. Maybe a defender gets a hand in the way and it pops in the air, and sometimes you throw it so hard your receiver can't handle it, and he pops it up in the air for the defender. And he'll get in! Touchdown! second touchdown of the afternoon and the Cowboys have made it a one score game again here in the fourth so how about that for an answer they get the touchdown there and it's back to a one score game here in the fourth and that's what these guys have done all game long because they've scratched and slashed their way to stay in this game and by now we should all realize they're not going away now the pressure again swings to their defense because they're going to need to find some way to get the ball back point after right down the middle and now things get a bit more interesting here in this fourth quarter game back within a touchdown now as the kickoff's away taken at the goal line and beyond the 20 but not by much in fact just a yard pass there to the 21 the Jets offense now works their way back onto the field they have the lead obviously late in the game I guess the good news for them is if for some reason they would make a mistake a field goal does the opposition no good. Everyone loves to have a little bit of a cushion, and that helps you immeasurably. But the bottom line is, do all the things that you're taught in order to close out the game. Don't even let that become an issue. Yeah, but still a one-possession game. This one not fully over yet. From the 21, it's second and 10. Play action. It's Wilson. He's got a man. It's his fullback. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. Well, they've certainly spread the ball around so far, but they're definitely getting everyone involved now when you're throwing it to the pullback. It just shows how versatile this offense is and how everyone is a threat. The Jets on third down. They've converted three out of five thus far. This is third and four. Wilson. He's got his target. That's complete. And he is going to have a Jets first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Off 
off the play fake. Here's Wilson. Got a man. That's Lazard. And he has a big gain inside the 40 before being dropped. They go right back to him for 20 and a first. And these guys certainly are not hiding what their intention is. They're absolutely showing it. They're definitely not going to sit on this lead here in the fourth quarter. So from Cowboy territory now, here's first and 10 at the 39-yard line. Now Cook running right. Ooh, the juke. And he'll work this forward for about three. It's second down. Well, with the fumble he had earlier, we, we know how key keeping the football is here. That fumble earlier probably at the forefront of his mind. Just hold on to this thing. It's also at the forefront of the mind of the guys who are trying to get the ball from him. And since they've seen him drop it on the ground before, they're doing everything possible to have him do it again. They need that turnover. On second down, it's Cook again. And he loses the football a second time. A lot of bad news on that play for them, wasn't there? Lost the football, lost a lot of yardage. But I think the good news outweighs it. Able to retain possession. That was big for them. So danger averted for the moment, but now here's a third and long. Here's Wilson. And this is going to be incomplete. And when you throw as many interceptions as he has in this one, you definitely start getting a little hesitant to throw the ball out wide because that's prime pick six territory. That time, he made sure the only guy was going to catch it was sitting in the third row. Here's Thomas Morstead now, as he should be able to pin him back deep here with his first punt. That one sails out of bounds. A side judge will walk it off, and he says it went out of bounds at the nine-yard line. Nice punt. Dallas offense set for this next drive, and it feels like the momentum has shifted. They scored, then their defense forces that last punt, and now a chance to tie the game on this possession. And he sneaks his way forward only for a couple here, second down. That was a pretty good job defensively to hold him to a two-yard run, but I've got to think this offensive line, they're asking their quarterback for a different type of a run, one that they rely on, one they have confidence in, one they feel like they can block. Looking to throw, Prescott. It's caught left side by Cooks. That'll go for a gain of seven, and that will bring up third and one. Here's Pollard, and he's going to have the first down as he's marked down just shy of the 20. We ought to come up with a t-shirt and sell it that says, no indecision on third and one. And we didn't see it on that run, did we? Got his shoulder square, just got right into the line of scrimmage and picked it up. Absolutely picked his lane, went with it, and converted. On first and 10, Prescott. dragging out there because they've been run ragged throughout. So the big play moves them all the way across midfield. It's first and 10 from the 45. Pollard going to try the right side. Oh, he faked it with a joke. Now he's got some room. And he's going to be stopped at about the 37. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. That play wasn't quite as big as the play that preceded it, but still, got to like the way they're moving the football, partner. Absolutely. Pretty good room to run on that last play. Yeah, they didn't get a first down, but still, you'll take runs like that each and every time, won't you? To throw is Prescott. He'll find Lamb. That's complete. And Lamb going to have a Cowboys first down as the tackle made at the 31-yard line. Prescott and Lamb hooking up for the Cowboy first. Oh, 
looking to throw. That's into the hands of Gallup over the middle. And he's down into the red zone at the 16 after a gain of 16. First and 10. Boy, everything clicking on this drive. He's 4 for 4 now, and that throw may be the best of the bunch. This offense is really humming, and they pick up another first down. The drive continues as they search for a tying touchdown. Here's first and 10. From the red zone now, Prescott. This is caught. Touchdown, Cowboys. Dak Prescott with a connection to CeeDee Lamb. And the Cowboys go coast to coast and finish the drive off with six points. But we are set up for a fantastic finish now. A fourth quarter touchdown here. We're an extra point away from a tie football game. And I know they're thinking about possibly going for two, but I'd go ahead and kick this one and just get it back to level. Now for the point after. And no sweat. He puts it through, and we are tied here in the fourth. So that drive takes him down the field in eight plays. And it's finished off by the touchdown from C.D. Lamb. Now this one setting up for a great finish. All tied in the fourth as the kick's away. New York's offense back out there and set to go. Well, they just gave up the score to tie it. That's the bad news. The good news, plenty of time in this fourth quarter to try to grab that lead back. They'll throw on first down with Wilson. Open man here is Conklin. Big yardage that time for the Jets. 46 yards. Talk about a momentum shifter right there. Tie game, fourth quarter. These are the plays that win you games. And now defensively, the question becomes, how do you respond? So now then, the big play has him all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. Another tote for the workhorse this afternoon. It's Cook. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. What a difference a play makes. A huge step forward and now a small step back as he loses a yard or two. The run defense, they have been porous at times today, but not that last go around. No, they really tightened it up, didn't they? They finally got themselves a win because all game long we've seen them get gashed. This time they play the responsibilities, played their keys. And made a nice stop. Give him a gain of five on the completion. Third and seven now. Now it's Wilson. back receptions for him and it's another first down defensively they just lost him he was waving his arms saying I'm wide open they found him yeah and it's so interesting about when a receiver starts to wave his arms because some guys right off the line of scrimmage they declare themselves open you know those guys throw the one arm up right. hit me right now in this case he was so wide open that he was touchdown Tyler Conklin a five yard touchdown and the Jets answer back with a touchdown of their own to break our tie and take the lead here in the fourth. So, Charles, I mean, this game feels like it has been punch, counter punch all throughout, and that touchdown breaks our tie here in the fourth quarter. You're making me want to get back in the gym and start training again. You're talking about those punches and counter punches. I also think this is where you and I start thinking to ourselves, Who's going to make the play to change that, right? Who's going to get out of this little cycle that they're in right now and make a play and give their team a firm advantage? Trailing in the fourth this close of a game, that's a penalty you just can't afford. It's an absolute killer, and it's one that drives coaches and teammates insane.
After the roughing penalty on the PAT, they'll kick off from 15 yards further upfield. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. The Dallas offense back out onto the field. And now, after the touchdown a moment ago, they work from behind in a seven-point game in this fourth quarter. Plenty of time on the clock. Prescott on first down. Able to hit his target land. And he takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. All three timeouts plus the two-minute warning. Here's first and ten. First down, Prescott. A throw out wide going to be incomplete. Another try, second and ten now. Now Prescott. A short one there taken in by Ferguson. And he'll be corralled out across midfield down to the 45. Now you're right on the edge of field goal range. You've still got time, but get up to the line of scrimmage and get set. Here's first down. To throw, Prescott. He finds his man complete. That's Lamb. And he's got this down to the 35. All right, let's just put it on the table real quick here. This is two-minute drill. you got to know they're looking for their number one receiver. Yeah, you think they'd be ready for that? That time, they weren't. Plenty of time. All three timeouts still remain. Here's first and ten now. Meanwhile, Prescott's throw pulled in by Lamb. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. And remember, field goal does them no good in this situation. You got to think they should be taking some shots for the end zone soon. Here's second and a yard. Here's Dak. To the sideline and incomplete. The nice thing is that you've still got all your timeouts in the middle of the field. That should still be an option, especially if you see the defenders pinching the sideline. You can run a little seam route right here and pick up some nice yardage. Boy, here's a big one. You can just feel it. This is third down now. Now Dak. And that's incomplete. Partner, they've got one chance left to keep this one going. And I think for you and me, let's think along with their offensive coordinator now has to think back, cycle through every play of this contest and remember what's worked and what has it. Because right here, he needs the best play of the game in order to keep this one alive. They'll run for it with Pollard. And he's going to get the first down as they bring him down at the 23. Two timeouts still in their back pocket. It's first and ten. Here's Prescott. Throwing the out route incomplete. That's Ferguson. The Cowboys going to use their second timeout now as they'll stop the clock with 24 seconds to go in the game. Now first and goal. Prescott.
was accomplished by scoring the touchdown, they're still down one. That extra point is not a gimme. And now the decision is to go for two. A gutsy call, and this, in effect, is your ball game right here. They'll try and run it in. And he will not get into the end zone. The defense makes the stop of the game on the two-point try, and they might just get out of here with a win after all. The clock showing 19 seconds to go. And they've got it. They recovered it. They hang on now, though. There's a penalty flag down. A big mistake in that spot. You got to let it go, Tim. They didn't give themselves a chance. They had an opportunity, touched it first. Now they're in a really bad spot. Victory all but assured now as they take a knee here and they're going to escape with a one-point victory. The Cowboys signal for their third and final timeout as the clock will stop with 18 seconds remaining. Down to a knee one more time, and that should just about do it. So it's a victory here for the New York Jets. And a little bit of a surprise, they lose the turnover battle, but wind up winning the ball game. And this is very unusual because you know all teams stress winning the turnover battle as a key indicator to winning ball games. So when you get something that goes against the grain, like the one we saw here, it's quite the oddity. Now let's face it, they'll be very happy that they pulled this off, but they do know that in the future, they've got work on taking care of the football because this won't happen very often.